Taking an early lunch to run out to Best Buy to get an SD card because there is one thing, especially that I'm realizing, is that I need to pounce on momentum when I have it because I'm able to get all worked up in my head and then not actually do the things that I want to do. And the thing that I want to do today is actually take this daily vlog idea seriously. I met with Cody yesterday. He's got a uh, just killer daily vlog going. He runs uh, a partner at Cap Collective, which is a video production agency. I'll link him up below. He's super on the daily follow along vlog. The big question for me, someone who's just starting out, I have limited number of hours, which I need to be putting towards a my job that is back over there for my nine to five and then building out my side business. So time is a limited resource and Money is also very limited, so Cody and his team could definitely do it, but I can't really afford it at this point. And we're talking about some creative ways to work around that and you know, trying to come up with something that we might be able to do together, which would be awesome. Um, but regardless of whether we get there or not, the point of this little rant is that I need to start to do it. I half did it leading up to 4Ds um, when I went up to VaynerMedia, and I stopped a couple weeks in because I've just enough knowledge of how to edit to be dangerous, but not enough to do it efficiently or do it super well. Um, but I just can't let that be an excuse. I got to document all this stuff. So that's the long way to get into the story of my SD card is, thinks it's full, running over lunch to Best Buy, grab an SD card, start doing the, the vloggy vlog, and that's that. This is where a knife or scissors of some sort would come in handy. Actually, peel it away rather easily right, right there. All right, much better. A little bit of catch up here. Talking with Cody yesterday, just realizing that I just need to be capturing and documenting everything that I'm doing uh, on a daily basis, even if that doesn't mean that I get a daily vlog out. If it's a weekly summary recap, as long as I'm keeping up with it. I don't, I don't know what it looks like in the long term, but I know in the short term, I at least need to be doing this every day, talking to you, even if you is only my camera and no one is actually listening to me. The point is I need to be doing this regardless of what it turns out to be because it's a thing that I know is the right thing to do. And that's going to be the theme of at least the next month. It's doing the thing that I know is the right thing to do. So let me just say that I have no idea what I could possibly use this for in there, but I am going to bring it in with me just because, because why not? Heading out, um, done at the JOB. Have to uh, drop off some some flooring samples. We have two large dogs that have absolutely destroyed our engineered hardwood. Uh, we did a research, and as much as we'd love the idea of hardwoods, we are looking at luxury vinyl planks, LVPs, if you will. So have to drop off the samples in Carlisle at the flooring shop. I'm going to head back home. I have some thoughts. I'm going to, I think, take this car ride to put them together, then I'll come back. But as a teaser, it has to do with trying to use your time well, dividing it among the things that you have to do for clients versus the things you need to do for yourself versus the things you know you need to do but are harder to get done because it's a long-term investment, things like content and just how that all works out. Got to get on the road in the snow. It's April 17th and there's snow. 
think it's stop. Got a too many bag problem. Not sure what happened. I cut out somewhere in the middle of all this. It just went black. And so I'm not sure where I was in my rant, so I'm going to start again. My wife and I have very similar ideas as to what nighttime looks like. And that is we do dinner together with the family, and I'm present and I'm here and I help with whatever it is, whether it's dishes, whether it's going to soccer practice, whether it's reading bedtime stories, tubbies, but it adds a very interesting constraint. There's three, four, five hours that some people do their side hustle thing. And so my side hustle is four to 6 a.m. plus whatever spare moments I can find throughout the day, lunchtime, client calls on the way to and from work, things like that. And then every now and then I'll grab a half hour, 45 minutes at night if there's something that I'm facing a deadline. That makes it difficult if you add up the math to make this work. And that's something I've really been struggling with. I know that I need to produce content that's valuable to the people who I want to reach. I have this running list of things that I want to do in my mind. Not only that, there's things that I need to do for my business, like a website. I've got my landing page and that's it. I have signed up for my Facebook business page and that's it. That's not true, I uploaded the logo. There's other laundry lists of items that, that I want to do but I don't have the time to do it. And then there's the client work, which all takes priority over everything else. And then there's just the other interesting things that I want to learn and do and, and not to mention the fact that I'm doing websites, which is a rather time intensive thing and, and I don't know if you've heard from anyone but video, that's time intensive as well. So, where we're at is, I don't know. I know the things that I want to do. I know the things that I feel like I'm being called to do and I was born and put on this earth to do. And I feel like I'm going in that direction, but I'm really struggling with not having enough time in the day to do those things or to accelerate it fast enough. And if I get to the point, when I get to the point that I can make this my full-time job and I don't lose the hour and a half of commuting every day and I don't lose the eight hours at job every day so you know it gets almost 10 hours back and if I do the two that gives me 12 if it's that math then maybe I sleep in and don't wake up at four at that point and still work eight to ten hours a day and get it all done but that's not where I am right now and I'm struggling to get there just with knowing the time that's required there's only so much of it I've already chunked off a lot. So how do I make it work? If any of you have tips, suggestions, thoughts, comments, I mean, I'm all ears. I have two, but they're, they're happy to listen and they're open and any advice or feedback or tips you can give me, I'd love to hear it. There's comments below, there's Twitter, there's Instagram, Facebook, all the places. The bottom line is, I'm here and I want to let you in to what I'm doing because hopefully at least one of you, this will resonate and give you some encouragement and maybe we can walk through this together and um, just see where it takes us. So that's what I've got for today. So I'm about to go back inside. I've got about 15 minutes before Adrian and Ethan get home. I'm gonna upload this videos onto the computer and then get going with dinner and then uh, I'll, I'll be back at it at four. And that's my day. I'm Chris Walter. I don't have a closing thing yet. I need to work on that. We'll get there. This is this is day one. Tomorrow's day two.